Hello my YouTube friends, Dave Wilson. Uh, just wanted to give you some updates. I've got something accomplished that I was hoping I'd be able to do. I have uh, the CR6 SE running on Octoprint. Didn't know exactly if, how that was going to work, but uh, so far it's working pretty well. I've got a standard package of plugins I load. And um, so now I don't have to use the SD card anymore, which is always a big plus for me. I keep all my files on a server and I can just direct them to whichever printer I want to. But um, the other thing I sort of curious about, I have a G29 in the um, G code, so it does an automatically bed, uh, automatic bed leveling as it starts printing, which I like to do. I, to me, it's worth the extra time every time I print something. But um, so I've got this running. I'm making some progress on printing some parts for my Omnia drops. I've got, I think, a couple of good fan shrouds done. Having a lot of trouble figuring out the right settings in uh, Simplify 3D. And then I printed a big ring for my dehydrator to uh, allow me to do multiple spools. Uh, this was done on the Ender 5 Plus. I messed up. I didn't put a, a supports on the bottom ring but it still works so um things come along i tell you i find it hard to keep four printers going i'm trying to do some uh, development and trying to build a rack table for an enclosure uh, i figured out it's too small so i got to go back to square one on that but uh printing some more parts for it and that's the update thanks uh leave me comments if you have any questions